So this is the Filofax Personal Portland Grand and it's a personal sized Filofax with 30mm rings and it first made an appearance in the Filofax UK catalogue in 1996 and the and, uh, last appearance in 99 as I understand it and it was only available in black. Uh, the standard personal sized Portland was available in a series of colours but this particular one, the Grant, was only available in black and also it was only available it was only available unfilled whereas the other Portlands were available either filled or unfilled so very much aimed at the uh, business fraternity say um, and it was very very good value as well at just over 50 pounds um, certainly that makes it cheaper than for instance my Folofax Sherwood which is similar leather similar quality but a different design and I got that in the early 90s for 50, exactly 50 pounds so so very good value. In fact, even though I personally think this is one of the best Filofaxes ever made in terms of construction, it was nowhere near as expensive as some of the models available in the catalogue at the same time as this one. Uh, prices went up to £150, and yet this one was just over 50 So, very, very good value in its day. So, let's have a look at the leather itself, which I think is very, very nice indeed. The stitching is very, very nice. The, just, just, the, just the overall quality and the feel of it, it's, it's not plasticky in any way. It just, it just feels nice. And it's got, a, it's got a certain amount of padding to it, and it does have some stiffness. There's one at the, there's one at the, uh, yeah, there's one at the back, and, sorry, so there's one. <laughs> the reason why I'm confused slightly is because I actually use this upside down, but I'll explain why in another video. But... Um, what most people would regard as the front, it's it's got a, a f it has got a stiffener, but this is the interesting thing: the stiffener is very very soft and flexible, whereas the stiffener at the back is substantially stiffer. So that's an interesting thing that they they instead of being very very much more much the same. It's stiff at the back and more flexible at the front. And the other thing, which is quite unusual, is, is this spine. Now, if you see that spine, if you look at that spine, it's actually more of a flattish spine compared to almost every other binder. Can you see? There we go. So it is, it is incredibly square in its design. And the other thing is, this is a really, really solid piece. I'm not sure. I should have got a magnet to test. Um, I'm not going to dissect it. I have been known to dissect Filofax, but I'm not going to because this is such a nice model. But I'd love to know what is in here. It feels like possibly, possibly the backing plate for the actual rings themselves. I'm, I'm sure that's not the case, but it might be. I don't know whether this is a, a metal or not, but I cannot bend it. It's really, really stiff. And one of the advantages of having such a design is if you, if you imagine this particularly being posted, and as we know, whenever we uh, post, whenever we sell, a, sell or buy a Firefox, we, we take our life in our hands. Why? Because a lot of people simply do not package them sensibly enough and securely enough to, to prevent damage to the rings from being crushed in the post. But this one, 
I think is because the actual the the stiffener here is the full length of the spine, the full width of the spine, it actually is slightly wider than the rings, and so it 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 really really helps. I'm imagining to prevent the the rings being crushed if they were in such position. So, an unusual construction. Um, the uh, um, oh, excuse me, I'm just going to blow my nose. I'm not having a I'm not having a great day today. Hence, I'm hiding behind the camera. <coughs> excuse me. So, I'm 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 having a bit of an <laughs> having a bit of an off day. So. Please forgive me. Um, let me just smell this. Now I've blown my nose. Okay, that is gorgeous. Now, I don't know about you, but I do like a binder that has a leather binder that has a leather smell. Um, I was disappointed a few months ago because I bought out of curiosity. I'm not going to say which model, but I bought a new model, brand new, ostensibly leather. But it had no leather smell at all. It was quite plasticky. However, this one smells of leather, and it really—it's got a powerful smell. Not the not the strongest I've ever come across, but it is a nice. It's a nice, luxurious leather smell, and the leather feels luxurious. And there is a there is an interesting construction here. I, th I think they definitely. They definitely worked on this. They must have, they must have tried to get a certain look because everywhere you look on this, there is no exposed leather at all. Uh, the, the 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 underside of the leather, the flesh side of the leather, not just the pockets which have these this nice classic Filofax logoed material, but also on the on the gusset. I'm struggling here with the with the light, but there we go. Can you see on the gusset there? Even the gusset is lined, so the leather is folded over uh, to produce a hem, and, it, and then there's the the classic logo material as part of the gusset. And somewhat even more surprisingly, the inside the inside the pen loops. No, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to show you, but you'll have to trust me. Ah, oh, you might be able to see there. Rather than the exposed flesh side of the leather, even the inside of the pen loop is lined with the classic Filofax logoed material. So, very, very unusual. Okay, so, um, the inner has six credit card pockets. Okay, so there's stitching here, so there's... They, they, these are six bifurcated pockets. We've got a full length pocket here and it is very very tight. Again it's lined with the it's lined with the with the classic liner and you have on this side a gusseted zipped pocket and the unlike some binders it's actually designed so that the paper doesn't extends on top of the zip so it's a nice design very nice very tactile the pen loops are a different size on this side this is the standard it's the standard Filofax pen size so a Pilot G2 will not fit but on this side it will this this can you see so the widest part of the G2 there goes in there it's a bit of a tight fit but it's um, it's one of those binders where you have two pen loops of different sizes. Um, the I'm not sure whether the I'm not the first owner of this, but I I I have no reason to doubt that the the uh, the, the the cap for the strap is original and it's not worn out. So I I like it. I like this a lot. Um, as far as uh, flattability, which is obviously for me the most important thing, it's not too bad. I would I would give that nine and a half out of ten. Very very good. And 
the same way, no problem at all. Um, I What do I use this for? Well, I use it for my database. And I like the 30mm rings because I like to use the Filofax card index where each letter is a separate divider. So effectively 26 card dividers rather than typically the 13 where they use actually is it 13 or 12 it might even be 12 i'm not sure but if you are using a full complement of 26 card dividers then you need a little bit more real estate when it comes to ring size so for me that works perfectly and it gives me space for plenty of extra paper so that is what i use it for so i don't open it every day but almost every day and i think it's although i'm a big fan as everybody knows by now of uh, the english made file faxes of yesteryear this is one of the foreign made models that i really really like the code on here inside the strap is I don't know whether you can see that. Hopefully you can. It is E... Oh, I can't even see that, actually. I'll put a note in the... I'm going to have to get my magnifying glass and I'll put a, a note in the description. I think it says E E E J. So for those of you who know these codes, I'm afraid I don't, uh, you can perhaps let me know when and where this was made. Anyway, so... As it stands, a very nice model, and it has a very, very interesting construction. It just feels business-like and solid. And the only thing that I, I wish that it, uh, it, it uh, the one thing I would change on this is, and I do have a problem with this. When you put, when you put a pen in the pen loop. I, I there is a there is a small hem there so it's turned over and basically that if there's any if there is any for instance here if I pushed it in beyond if I push my G2 beyond that that collar there it would be hard to get it out I'd have to really yank it out because it will catch the 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 hem in that end or that end will will act as a barb to catch a pen trying to take it out, which I don't think is a very, very good... I mean, I can see why they've done it, um, but I I don't think that's a good idea. So I would have just ha had uh, just a piece of leather to, to not be folded over so that there would be no need to have a pen. I know that's not part of the design style of this, but I would prefer it if it didn't do that. Um, I am happy the fact that they are outboard pen loops so they they don't protrude inwards they protrude outwards which is very very nice and the construction is superb in fact on these because it's got a because it's got a, a, a double layer of leather so both inside and outside they've actually sandwiched between the two layers and it's very very neat very very strong it's a nice it's a nice design it's a nice way of attaching the pen loops on on both sides if you can see that so yeah very very nice the only thing i don't like is as previously mentioned the fact that the there is a hem in at each end of the pen loop which will catch the unwary if you slide your pen in and and you you know you have to choose your pen wisely but as we know with file packs, we have to do that anyway so it's no big it's no biggie but you just have to be careful of that. Okay, well look, thanks very much indeed and uh, look forward to you joining me next week for another Final Facts review. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.